channel or if this is your first time here hi welcome to whatever this is so I was planning on making a video today but I'm having a bit of a conundrum because I was planning on reviewing my Foxy Bay um, <laughs> curling set here um, and then I kind of realized I mean I already kind of used it I, I, but it, my hair is way too short now to use this because there's no um there's no like you have to hold your hair to do to use this and all I do is burn myself like I tried to use this today and I literally burned my hand so and obviously it really did I mean it kind of added some volume but not really a lot so I was gonna review this but I guess not I'll have to wait until my hair grows a little longer I just got it chopped off yesterday I'll put a picture up or like a scream or like a picture or like a maybe I have video somewhere of my long hair but I got it all cut off because I live in Florida and it was just getting really hot it's so nice like I think I look a lot better too like I feel like I kind of look more mature and it has more volume but it looks goofy straight so I did kind of curl it but I got I said I figured I would try using this Conair one that I got from the dollar store that was literally like $8.50 <laughs> it has two settings um, high and low I have thin or I have fine but thick hair so I figure high I'm gonna have is what I'm gonna have to use oh and I also got new yeah, eyelashes I know nobody watched the uh, wearing fake eyelashes for the first time but I love them I'm obsessed with wearing fake eyelashes I really didn't have anywhere to go today um, but I wanted to wear them anyway because they just make me feel fabulous just went to the gas station to get extra gas we went to the dollar store obviously I got this I got more razor replacements and then we got um, a couple things of water because there is a weak hurricane coming in but could get bad winds and stuff so I just want to be prepared um, so I did get this it, like I said it was only $8.50 really cheap and I went and got my hair done yesterday and she curled it for me I'll never get it looking as good as it did um, as she got it but I'm gonna try and she said to curl it up and down don't hold it like this which is how I've always done it hold it like this so but I made sure to get one with the grippy on <laughs> I'll probably still find a way to burn myself, but I really didn't know. I wanted to post a video today, but I really didn't know what to do, so I was like, well, I'll just do this. Oh my god. I've like I've always been such a tomboy, so this like fake eyelashes, wearing full makeup, doing my hair, it's such like a new thing to me. Like I never really bothered because I'm obviously fat, so like my brain was always just like, why bother? You know, you're fat, so it doesn't really matter. You're just polished, like Family Guy said, here's your polished turd for the evening, you know. Um, so I never really thought to bother to put effort in, but it makes me feel so much better, you know. It makes me feel, like I feel so pretty right now. Like I love how I look, like I can't stop looking at myself in the mirror, <laughs> which is not something I normally say. Um, but am I doing this right? This doesn't look right. Hang on. How about, she, I don't, I wasn't really watching how she did it. Wait, oh my god, that's fucking hot, obviously. It was really great, though. I live in, like, a small town, so, um, the, uh, hairstylist I went to literally was just two ladies and, like, kind of just looked like a house. It was really cute. She was really nice. She cut my hair and she curled it for me. She cut it dry, too, by the way, which was really unusual to me. I've never had I've never had my hair cut while it's dry. Like they always um, spray it and get it damp, at least damp. But she just like really brushed my hair out and then she just went for it. And I was like, why are you cutting my hair dry? Like obviously I don't have a problem with it, but I've never had that done before. She said, well your hair looks like it'll um, curl at the end. So if I wet it and I'm like well you're right I mean my hair is naturally curly at the ends I actually used to have ringlets when I was a wee babe 
but then they, when my hair got cut for the first time, the ringlets obviously were cut off and they never came back. So I just kind of have, kind of have little curls at the end. And that's about it. Um, but she was really sweet and she told me to do it like this. That's not working, <laughs> is it? I don't know. It's kind of doing something, right? It's not really getting. How did she get it? Like how she got it? She got it looking so good. But anyway, we were just talking bollocks, which is what I'm doing now. This is kind of a pointless video, but I just wanted to put up, upload something. And I'm just trying to put out content that's kind of relaxing. Like times are really stressful right now, of course. I'm still looking for a job. The market is really dried up right now. So I'm trying to find something. I just want to have kind of like, I really like just sit down videos where people are just kind of talking about their lives and it's just nice to listen to. So hopefully that's kind of what this is. Um, so that's why I'm just going on and on. It's not working. People are, if there's anyone watching this, you're probably like, oh my God, don't even know how to curl your hair right. And I'm like, I know, I'm sorry. Maybe I need to leave it on longer. I'm scared though. I'm scared I'm going to burn it off. How long should I leave it on for? <laughs> but anyway, she was really sweet and she was talking, we were talking and I was telling basically my whole life story, how I moved down here from Michigan and the drive down and how much I hate snow and all that stuff. And um, we got to the end <laughs> where I literally stood up from the chair, my hair was all cut and curled and it looked really nice and she was like, Oh, by the way, oh, I should have told you this before. And I'm like, oh God, what? what? What happened? And she's like, I only take cash or check. And I'm like, uh, <laughs> I'm a young person. Why do you think I have either of those? And I was like, oh, fuck. I never carry cash. I used to have checks um, when I used to have my own apartment because I had to pay with checks. And I was like, oh, fuck. But I don't have any. Obviously, I moved to a new state. I don't have any checks that have the right address on them. Do I even have, I don't think I brought my checks down with me. I think I left them at my mom's place. So I'm like, oh my God, I never carry cash because I'm paranoid about someone, you know, robbing me. And I don't have checks. I felt really bad, I'm like, oh my God, what am I gonna do, I can't. She's already, she obviously can't undo my haircut. Am I gonna get in trouble? <laughs> but she was really nice about it. Um, she was like, well, you can go get some cash that's fine I'll be here all day you can just come back later I'm like oh my god that's so nice like this is a small town so and it's in the south the southern hospitality is a real thing by the way if you don't live in the south and you're wondering it's amazing like when we moved in we had neighbors coming over this one lady brought over fl um, flowers fruit from her own trees like she brought us oranges from her her own trees and um, this one lady bought a bottle, brought a bottle of whiskey, <laughs> which is like, that's my kind of woman. <laughs> she brought whiskey. She brought like Hennessy or was it something like that? She brought whiskey. Um, and I was like, my God. Then the other neighbor, he keeps bringing us stuff from his garden. So it's really nice. The Southern hospitality thing is real. Um, but it was so nice. She was like, you can just come back later. Like she just trusted me to leave and then come back and pay. <laughs> But I was like, oh, no, 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 wait, let me see. And thank God I had a 20 in my wallet. I'm Sometimes I'll just have cash in my wallet, and I won't remember at all where I got it from. But thank God I had it in there. And I was like, oh, I have a 20. <laughs> thank the Lord. So I was able to pay her, and I just, it was about $15 to do my hair. And I just said, keep the rest of it. I, you know, I don't need a $5 bill back. I'm gonna tip her anyway. And um, I'm thinking of getting my hair dyed red, like like a, a dark wine red, um, not like a bright red, like just a, just kind of a, or like a mahogany or something. Why aren't these curls staying? Why does it look like this? Is this right? <laughs> I don't think this is right. It's on my nose. Uh, I, I don't think this is, I don't think I'm doing this right. Am I? I mean, it's kind of giving it volume, right? A little bit. How did she do it? She. This is basically the size that she had. Up and down. God, I'm so new to all of this stuff. I, like I said, I never used to put any effort really into my appearance. The most I would do is wear contacts because I hate wearing my glasses, but I'm blind as a bat. I have to wear something. 
So I would wear contacts and then I never leave the house without mascara. So that's the most I would do and I wouldn't put any effort. I would just grow my hair super long because I'm like, I, always, I wear a lot of men's clothes, like baggy men's clothes because I'm not comfortable in tight women's clothing. So I, like, I just have never really put effort into my appearance. So having the long hair I think just kind of made me feel somewhat feminine and that's why I kept growing it out like super long, you know, like down to the small of my back. But I feel like I was using it as kind of like a security blanket. Okay, sorry about that. I had to I had to delete stuff off my iPad because it ran out of storage space, which is crazy because literally the only thing I use it for is watching YouTube and like Netflix sometimes. So anyway, I had to I guess the thing that was eating up all the memory was that I had some Netflix movies downloaded, you know, to watch off, offline, but whatever. Anyway, um, I actually remember what I was talking about. I was talking about how I used to kind of use my long hair as sort of a shield and also just, I was like, if I have my long, my pretty long hair, then maybe I can still be kind of seen as girly, you know what I mean? It's really stupid like I wouldn't think that way about anybody else but with my own brain that's how my own brain viewed myself so you know stuff that I would think about other people is totally different for me like I think there are women out there who have shaved heads and look stunning like um, I watched a couple videos of women shaving their head off sh shaving their head off Jesus shaving their hair off I'm like, oh my god, they look way better than I could ever even dream of looking. And so, it I mean, it's just, my brain is just, it has weird logic about my appearance specifically, but just kind of in general too. So my long hair was kind of like my shield. I was like, as long as I have my long hair, I'm kind of pretty. <laughs> but in reality, my eyes are my, my real uh, selling point. They're the best part of me. Really my, my one redeeming feature I would say but again I don't feel that way about anybody else it's just me like I don't know why my brain is so harsh on myself it's so judgmental towards me but nobody else towards everybody else I'm like oh my god they look amazing <laughs> pretty much like everybody all the time I don't know I, th I mean that's probably just how it is like we're just our own worst critic most likely but it's hard, it's hard to fight against your brain that way. I mean, my brain is that way for pretty much everything about me, like personality-wise, friendships-wise, like my friends, I never think that my friends actually like me. I think that they just, they happen to be stuck working with me and so I like to start wanting to say, hey, you wanna like hang out or something? You know, if you wanna, if you're down. And they go, yeah, all right. Kind of like, oh, I have nothing better to do anyway. Might as well hang out with her. But I've never felt like an integral part of a friend group. You know, I've always been the kind of extra. Like, if I were to not be at something they were doing, they wouldn't even notice. They might go, hmm, I feel like we're missing somebody here. But then they just move on. They'd be like, oh, no, it's probably not important. <laughs> so my brain is just really my own worst enemy all the time. And I don't really know what to do about it. Like, I have really bad paranoia. Um, and I get anxious a lot about, like, my future. I'm like, what am I doing? What am I doing with my life? I'm just throwing my life away. I'm the worst. I, don't know, I should probably talk to somebody <laughs> about my, specifically my um, paranoia, my like, severe trust issues. I don't trust, like, anybody my depression but I just I feel like I'd be burdened I mean obviously that's what therapists are there for they're there for you to talk to them but I would just feel like I'm burdening them with my shit you know and it would just be pointless to talk to them because they just be like oh god I could be talking to someone more important right now which obviously is not a cool way to think about people and I don't mean to you know think that way it's just that's what my brain does so, it's just a constant battle with my own head. <laughs> but when I have makeup on, I feel pretty good. <laughs> Which is kind of maybe a toxic thing to feel, but... Uh, it's just... 
Man, when I lost a lot of weight, like when I was in the 150s, oh my God, I miss those days. I'm working so hard and it just doesn't seem like I'm losing any weight. It doesn't help that I keep getting insomnia, so then I'm super tired and my head hurts. I get, I get migraines when I'm fatigued. I get migraines anyway, but especially when I'm fatigued. And then I just can't bring myself to work out and, and then I just feel even worse about myself. But I'm doing intermittent fasting now, so I hope that that'll help. I'm trying to eat more fruits and vegetables and stuff. I just want to lose weight. Like I feel like I would just feel so much better about myself and I would just feel better in general, you know? I'd have a lot more energy and I'd have more confidence. Like I'd love to go out and do stuff, talk to people. Obviously losing weight wouldn't solve all my problems, of course. It's not a end all fixer, but it would solve I think a good amount of my problem. I would solve. I think it would solve a lot of like mental struggle that I have, a lot of strife. Because a lot of my, um, I think a lot of my paranoia comes from my appearance, and, I, and it's such a toxic way of thinking. And again, not how I think of other people. But I'm like, why would anyone want to be friends with me? Like, look at me. And that's just not a good way to think about it. And the thing is, is that I never think about other people that way. <laughs> so I don't know why my brain feels that way towards me like someone's appearance means nothing to me when I'm you know when I'm being friends with them or like talking to them like it just doesn't mean anything all I care about is someone's personality and I'm assuming that's how a large majority of other people feel as well but my brain just that's not how my brain works for me when it's um, concerning me I should say when it's about me, my appearance is just everything, and just, that's just not healthy. I don't know. I don't know why I'm treating this video like a therapy session. I guess I need something. It's a good song. I did have, um, on a brighter note, I did have uh, this on earlier. I was gonna have. You could probably tell because I still kind of have some red color. Um, I was going to put on the Alluring by Huda Beauty that I got in that um, Allure. Oh, that's why it's, the shade is called Alluring, because it was in the Allure beauty box that I used to get. I miss getting that. And it even says Huda Beauty, Huda Beauty, Huda Beauty loves Allure. I should have put two and two together. But this is like Taylor Swift red. That's how red this is. And I just get nervous wearing red lipstick because I feel like it doesn't really look good on me and then it just fucks it up, fucks everything up. Speaking of Taylor Swift, y'all listening to her new album? I really enjoy it. It's like, it's kind of like, I mean it's obviously called Folklore, but it kind of gives me like this folksy kind of vibe to it and I really dig it. It's kind of, it's kind of a relaxing, relaxing music to listen to. I'm probably doing this all wrong. Like I said, I'm a newbie to this stuff. I never do my hair. Ah, frack. I think, well, I think that's about as good as it's gonna get. I'm not, I'm not trying to get it super curly. I'm just trying to get it, maybe if I curl it a different way. I'm just trying to get some volume to it because when it lays flat it just kind of looks goofy. I also have one of those ones where you just put the whole, the hair strand into it, close it, and it like wraps up. You seen those? You seen the videos where it gets stuck, <laughs> and they have to take the whole damn thing apart to get the hair out? Never. That I thought I was gonna get close to having to do that a couple times. That was fucking scary. But it never, luckily, never ended up happening because I would have been totally screwed. But I mean, I think that worked decently well. I mean, I've got, I've got, uh, pretty good volume, I think. Let me unplug that. It gets pretty, it gets pretty hot and gets impressively hot, I think. Yeah, you know, I think that turned out okay. Oops. <laughs> uh, I don't know what the bag looks like. Probably super flat. I can feel it super flat. But I don't know how to curl it from the back. Let me see if I can. 
It took me so long to get ready today too for some reason. Because I did like full makeup as you can tell. My f putting on fake lashes is still really hard for me. <laughs> I'm not. I'm still not very good at it. It took me like an hour to get ready which is insane. I have to hurry up. I tried to use new contour but it just didn't work. I used, I tried to use, um, not liquid, but, um, cream. I just couldn't get it to work, so I went back to using my little powder wet and wild, uh, this on my nose. You can kind of see. I think it kind of works. My nose looks a little smaller, I think. I still don't really, I still really haven't figured out how to contour either, even though I've watched many videos on how to do it. <laughs> Like, and I actually got bronzer this time. Really pretty bronzer. Um, yeah, this is the bronzer I got. LA Colors. I actually put it on my forehead and it actually can tell. Because usually I'm just a pale ghost. But I think I did decent this time. Okay. Don't laugh. How is that? I won't see how it is until I actually watch this and edit this video. But I don't know. I think that's okay. What do you think? <laughs> How does it look? Nobody's gonna watch this. <laughs> I think it looks pretty good. I just, I think I look much better with the shorter hair. I just feel like I look more mature, you know? The long hair, I think it just kind of drug me down and it just didn't look very good. But this looks pretty good. What do you think? <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, I'll try to get this video up today. It's Friday. And then, um, try to do something for Spooky. Saturday tomorrow. I'm trying to figure out a good um, method, or I'm trying to figure out a good format for that. I just don't feel comfortable getting on camera without doing like a full makeup like what I have right now. And it feels kind of pointless to do all that just to film a video, but I mean I would because I do like feeling pretty. <laughs> so I'm going to try and I'm gonna get something uploaded. I might it might just be a voiceover, but figure something out. Okay. Well that was about it. I just wanted to film a little something. I would, like I said I was gonna review my Foxy Bay, but it's just my hair is too short to safely use that. I already burned I don't remember which finger I burned, but I burned one of my hands trying to do it before, so <laughs> went with the safer option. This worked much better though than just trying to use a regular barrel. So if you don't have one of these, I recommend getting them because it literally, it just does all the holding for you. I could I did it one handed after I got it clipped in. And like I said, this was $8.50 at the dollar store, at Dollar General, so I recommend it. If you want a beauty, like my makeup routine, if anyone's watching this, feel free to let me know. I can film that. Pretty much everything I got from the dollar store, like Meyer. so let me know and uh, I hope you're doing well staying safe and happy during these really questionable times hopefully things will improve soon but until then I hope you enjoy the video and I'd love to see you on the next one bye